this is Chris taking a look at the gold and silver markets. You can see gold gapped a little bit, rose and then pulled back and now is bouncing. This is a market that has risen too far and um, I think it's probably going to pull back maybe to 2000, possibly lower. 1950 would be very interesting because there is a gap down here that I'd be very interested to see how that behaves. You know, the Fed is printing greenbacks, and that is bad for the dollar. But central banks around the world are doing the same. So the one currency that will continue to benefit from that is gold. Now, that doesn't mean that you buy it at the absolute highs. Of course you don't. You look for a decent price, and you buy it like anything else. You're going to have to be cautious and, more importantly, patient and wait for buying opportunities. Same thing in silver. I mean, this is the very definition of a parabolic market. It needs the pullback. I'd like to see at least the $3 pullback, if not 4 In the meantime, all you can do is wait. You, you can't buy here. It's up 50% in like two and a half weeks. That's insane. And buying up here is like asking somebody to take money out of your account. And they will. So... um I mean, at the very least, we need to pull back to like 26. I'm just going to have to take this day by day and be very patient. I do think it goes higher. I just think that uh, the problem with silver is, is when it takes off, it tends to be parabolic and you have to deal with this nonsense. If you're a longer term trader, you can simply buy and hold. Um, you know, a little harder to do with futures, but if you're a CFD trader, you know, you may have gotten in down here this breakout and you might still be in it for that matter. So uh, good on you. But uh, regardless... I am not a seller.